Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, by whose grace, though sinners, we are made just, and though pitiable, made blessed. 
Stand, we pray, by your works. Stand by your gifts. That those justified by faith may not lack the courage of perseverance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After much debate had taken place, Peter got up and said to the apostles and the presbyters, My brothers, you are well aware that from early days God made his choice among you, that through my mouth the Gentiles would hear the word of the gospel and believe. And God, who knows the heart, bore witness by granting them the Holy Spirit, just as he did us. He made no distinction between us and them, for by faith he purified their hearts. Why then are you now putting God to the test by placing on the shoulders of the disciples a yoke that neither our ancestors nor we have been able to bear? On the contrary, we believe that we are saved through the grace of the Lord Jesus in the same way as they. The whole assembly fell silent and they listened while Paul and Barnabas described the signs and wonders God had worked among the Gentiles through them. After they had fallen silent, James responded, my brothers, listen to me. Simeon has described how God first concerned himself with acquiring from among the Gentiles a people for his name. The words of the prophet agree with this, as is written. After this, I shall return and rebuild the fallen heart of David. From its ruins, I shall rebuild it and raise it up again, so that the rest of humanity may seek out the Lord, even all the Gentiles on whom my name is invoked. Thus says the Lord who accomplishes these things, known from of old. It is my judgment, therefore, that we ought to stop troubling the Gentiles who turn to God, but tell them by letter, to avoid pollution from idols, unlawful marriage, the meat of strangled animals and blood. For Moses, for generations now, has had those who proclaim him in every town, as he has been read in the synagogues every Sabbath. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord, all you lands. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Announce his salvation day after day. Tell his glory among the nations, among all peoples, his wondrous deeds. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Say among the nations, the Lord is King. He has made the world firm not to be moved. He governs the peoples with equity. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Please stand. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy might be in you and your joy might be complete. My dear brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa atin lahat. Pwede ko sigurong sabihin, it is safe to say na lahat tayo dito ay nakaranas ma-in love. No? Sino ho ba dito ang nakaranas na hindi na-in love ever since? No? Siguro manhid, no? All of us, perhaps, no, when we were younger, no, ay talaga namang nahumaling sa isang tao. No? And when that stage um, happened, no, siyempre, falling in love could be very challenging sa mga youngsters. Ano? Hindi makatulog, no? nagkakaroon ng pimple, no? nahihiya, no? nagbablush. No? A lot of emotions no going on the challenge is if we fell in love no when we fell in love no hanggang saan ba ma maintain yung pagiging in love no i say this always kapag may kinakasal ako no sabi no? to fall in love is very easy no but to stay in love is something that needs a lot of work, no? Because it is a conscious, mature decision. What am I telling you this, mother, brothers, and sisters? In our gospel reading today from the gospel of St. John, Jesus is reminding us again in one of his last parting words, yung kanyang mga huling habilin, no? na magmahalan kayo. And He distinctly reminds us, remain in my love. No? Manatili kayong nasa akin. No? Paano ba natin ito maiaakma sa ating buhay kristyano? No? Remaining in Jesus' love, no? Siguro, para sa atin na nabinyagan tayo nung maliit pa tayo, no? falling in love in Jesus, in Jesus could be a no-brainer. No? Mabilis lang. No? Madali lang. No? Paano madali lang, Father? No? Kasi, kumbaga, nakinamulata na natin. No? Pero ang pinakahamon actually sa atin ay paano ba manatiling in love kay Jesus? No? We are being asked, no, every now and then, by um, other Christian denominations, no. Bakit kayo mga Katoliko nagbibinyag kayo ng bata? Bakit kayo mga Katoliko dapat hinahayaan ninyong malaki na yung bata, no, para conscious siya sa kanyang decision? No? Sa totoo lang, meron silang point, no. Meron silang point. No? Pero marahil ang kulang sa atin ay paano ba natin pinapalalim ang ating pag-unawa doon sa ating pakikipag-ibigan kay Jesus? Ang tanong, na isa sa buhay ba natin at tinutupad ba natin, ginagawa ba natin araw-araw itong klasing pag-iibigan natin kay Jesus? Manatili kayo sa akin. 
Dahil ito ang magpapaligaya sa atin. It's also one of the challenges of Jesus. He posed in the Gospel reading, My joy might be in you, and your joy might be complete. Ano bang nagpapaligaya sa atin? Na masasabi nating total, full, complete no? ang ating kasayahan. There's this saying, no? if you want to know where your heart is, check where your mind goes when it wanders. No? Kung nais inyong malaman kung nakanino ba ang inyong puso, tingnan ninyo kung saan gumagala ang inyong pag-iisip. Sana ang sagot kay Jesus. Sana ang sagot, we remain in His love. No? It needs a mature, conscious decision to remain in Jesus. And this is very evident through the very choices that we make. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, no, for this Holy Mass, for our reflection today, no, maybe perhaps it is good to ask ourselves, no? Lahat tayo dito ay Kristiyano. No? Lahat tayo dito, pwede natin sabihin, pinoprofess natin, mahal natin si Jesus. No? We fell in love with Jesus. The question is, and the challenge is, have we remained in love with Him? Have we stayed in love with Him? Ang tanong, paano yan, Father? through the very conscious choices that you make. Through the very decisions, no? Mature decision na ginagawa natin, pinipili natin araw-araw. Nandun ho ang hamon. Nandun natin masusukat if we have truly and faithfully remained in love with Jesus. Oo, nabinyagan tayo nung bata pa. No? Oo, hindi tayo conscious nung nabinyagan tayo. No? But now I guess, no? ang hamon ni Jesus ay, yeah, you've been brought up in a community already Christians. No? But how about you? Ikaw mismo, Decision mo. Mature, conscious na decision mo. Ako ba ang pinipili mo? Ang batayan mo ba pang araw a sa pang araw-araw mong gawain ay ako? This is a very good question to ask ourselves, my dear brothers and sisters. And if the answer is, yes, Lord, no? ikaw, at ikaw lamang. Then, thanks be to God. No? Dahil to fall in love with Jesus is very easy. No? But to stay in love with Him is something that is very special. That we are all invited and called for to make and to decide. Conscious decision that we do every day. Amen. Please stand. Christ says, if you remain in me and my words remain in you, you may ask what you will and you shall get it. Let us pray confidently, inspired by his words. In every prayer we say, Lord, we place our trust in you. Lord, we place our trust in you. 
that our church may become a true community producing fruits of love and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord we, we place our, our trust, trust in you. you. That unbelievers may encounter God in the love of Christians. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord we, we place our, our trust, trust in you. That married couples may be faithful in their love for each other and so bear witness to their Christian faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we place our trust in you. That the sick may be steadfast in their faith and remain united with Jesus even in suffering. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we place our trust in you. That those who have departed from this life may rejoice forever in God's heavenly home. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we place our trust in you. God, our Father, hear our prayers and fill our hearts with your love so that we may always live in a way that pleases you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in the sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, Grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to load you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross. And by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, Every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, hosts heaven, heaven and earth are, are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the, in the highest. highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes, comes in the name, the name of, the of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in, the, in highest. the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all the glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am, I am not worthy that you should enter under, under, my, under roof, my roof, but only, but only say, say the, word, the word, and my, and my soul, soul shall, shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Regina, Church.